Hello, my name is Fraser Morrison from Young Enterprise Scotland. Firstly, congratulations on completing your final year at school under what can only be described as the most challenging and odd circumstances. I'm here today as part of the DYW Skills Academy to talk about entrepreneurship and the importance of having an entrepreneurial mindset. When we talk about what it takes to become an entrepreneur, we are really talking about the skills that we need to develop in order to become successful. At Young Enterprise Scotland, we believe these skills to be communication, confidence, financial capability, teamwork, organisation, problem solving, resilience and initiative. Now, it's likely you will already have a lot of these skills without necessarily knowing it. There is no single right way to become an entrepreneur. My own journey into being a small business owner certainly didn't start the way I thought it would. When I left school six years ago in June 2014, I had a place at university to go and study theatre and digital media, which I was really quite excited about at the time. Fast forward to the November of that year, when I was about two months into the course, I just knew that university was not for me. So I left and then panicked about what I was actually going to do next. I actually fell into starting a business by accident when I identified a problem, boring health and wellbeing classes in schools, and came up with a solution on how to fix it, using my passion for drama to educate these topics in a fun and creative way. Using the entrepreneurial skills that I developed during my time at school, communication, confidence, problem solving and initiative to name just a couple, a few months later in 2015, I had created my first small business. Becoming an entrepreneur really is possible for anyone with the right mindset, passion and dedication to succeed. I'm delighted to be able to hand over now to our partners at Elevator, who will talk to you a little bit more about what it means to be enterprising. Uh, hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. Uh, we were asked by our friends at Young Enterprise Scotland if we would like to do a little bit of a session on behalf of um, developing young workforce Lothian, a little bit about the, I suppose, the options that you really have when you've left school, your, your pathways, uh, particularly for those that are entrepreneurial and maybe are thinking about starting their own business. Where do you go? What do you do? Where do you get help from? So, I mean, I thought that there would be no better person to speak to than um, our very own from Elevator, uh, Andy Campbell. So, Andy Campbell, are you with us? Good afternoon, Richard. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, so, Andy, you are an entrepreneur, um, a very creative person, and uh, you've also been recognised by universities for your services to the local community. So, um, you know, it's fair to say that you have uh, achieved quite a lot in your life. But when you left school, what was it that you wanted to do? What, what were your ambitions? Yeah, um, great question, Richard, and thanks for uh, having me on to, to talk to you about all of this. Um, I'll, I'll take you actually back to when I was at school, because when I was in sixth year at school, um, something really important happened to me. I was given an opportunity uh, with something um, at the time that was brand new, and that was Young Enterprise Scotland. I was in sixth year. I had a little bit of extra time in my um, timetable. And my tech teacher came along and said, hey, Andy, do you want to try this? Start your own business, run your own business, make products and sell products. It's a new thing called Young Enterprise Scotland. Now, bearing in mind, Richard, I'm 48 years old, so I was about 17 at the time. So we're going back 31 years. And, and this was brilliant. Uh, this was something that utilised a lot of the skills that I had and gave me an insight into business. So I actually had a, a, my very first company whilst I was at sixth year at high school, and that taught me all, all the basics about business. Now, I was, I guess, uh, now we would call it upcycling, uh, but back then I was taking scraps of wood that I could find in the tech department and turn it into products. And mostly it was offcuts of wood that I would put on a lathe and turn into fruit bowls and sell the fruit bowls. And it was great and we hired people within the, the year and, and, and produced these on a mass scale. So that was my first flavour of business, Richard. And that really, um, it didn't necessarily set on fire the entrepreneurial spirit to make me go into business straight away. 
I went on to study uh, architecture and interior design, but it was probably back in about 1995, so maybe five years later, that the memories of Young Enterprise Scotland came back and the thought, actually, maybe I can set up my own business. And it was in 1996 that I set up my own first proper business, Richard. That's really, really interesting. So Young, Young Enterprise was there for you right at the very beginning of your, of your career. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. And I had uh, great fun um, because it was new. And uh, what you've also got to realise as well, Richard, is I didn't come from a family of business people. There was no entrepreneurs in the family. We, we didn't even know what an entrepreneur was. Uh, my dad was a forklift truck engineer and my mum was a cleaner. So we were very much, you know, if you were getting into college or university, that was a big step up. Um, so business and starting your own company wasn't something that we really knew about. So Young Enterprise really gave me that early taste of what could be. And um, I've always supported Young Enterprise um, Scotland whenever I, I could. And shortly after my uh, first business was started up, I was uh, very active with the, the organization back then, helping them out at their annual conferences, for example. That's, that is, it's just really sort of almost ironic that you've sort of come back to working with Young Enterprise. I mean, many years of being there at the very beginnings of Young Enterprise. Uh, so I suppose next question would be that, and it's a question that I get asked a lot, is are entrepreneurs, are they born or are they created, do you think? It, it, it is a great question. And, and yes, you're quite right. It does get asked a lot. Um, there, there are two schools of thought on this one. Um, um, is there something inside of you, uh, an entrepreneurial gene, a uh, personality trait, that would make you more entrepreneurial than someone else. Um, and then there's the, the practice of entrepreneurship. If you do these things in this particular order, then you will be entrepreneurial. Um, I straddle across both camps. Um, there's a, a, a Boston professor at MIT called Bill Olette, and we follow some of his teachings by way of process entrepreneurship, the practice of do these things, and you will be more entrepreneurial. You can have a successful business. But I also believe that there's got to there's, there's a spirit inside you. There's a, a fire. There's a, a passion and ambition, and and I think most. Uh, entrepreneurs have that to a degree um, but also um, they have to be quite serious about their business they have to be very astute they have to have a good eye for figures so an entrepreneur can take many different forms and I guess what we do in the work that we do at Elevator and what Young Enterprise tries to inspire is that there's not one template for an entrepreneur they can come in many different shapes sizes introverts and extroverts but if you practice entrepreneurial activities then hopefully you'll have a successful business at the outcome of that brilliant answer thank you andy so i mean you mentioned elevator along the way there and you mentioned about some of the who's the help that elevator and young enterprise uh, actually provides for sort of young people so i suppose in a more a condensed sort of form what sort of you know i've left school i don't know what i don't know where to go is elevator somewhere i should think about approaching yeah I, I, absolutely i mean the elevator is now one of scotland's uh, scotland's leading entrepreneurial and business support organizations uh we're a social enterprise uh, we're headquartered in aberdeen but we're active throughout scotland and um, I think we've got the ticker along the bottom with elevators details that if anyone's interested in contacting us, um, that's one way to go. Of course, there's Business Gateway, another uh, national provider, and elevator provide national uh, business gateway services in uh, Aberdeen, City and Shire, and of course, the Tayside region as well. So Business Gateway is a good front door, a single point of contact that you can have if you've got a business idea. Um, but what I would say to anyone that's thinking of setting up their own business is take a step back mm -hmm. and really ask yourself the question, what problem is it that you're trying to solve? What pain point can you see out in the marketplace? Because if you can provide a solution to that pain point, if you can provide a solution to that problem, then you're more likely to have a customer. 
for your business and customers are the bedrock of any business if you don't have customers you don't have a business so it's really vital that if you're thinking about setting up your own business you think about your customers what their pain points are and how you can provide a product or a service that will address their pain points okay brilliant um so i mean obviously i i know a little bit about you and a little bit about some of the you know the, the journey and the things you've had along the way yeah. um you're i would guess you're not now where you thought you would be when you left school would that be correct oh a a absolutely in a, a totally different place richard and you know you mentioned that you'd started a business while you were still at school but then you sort of went on you did other things and you, and you sort of came back to it so i'm guessing along the journey you may well have had sort of obstacles and you may have had to have you know lots of you know things resilience i suppose is the word that people are using a lot at the moment yeah and can you tell me a little bit more about maybe some of the obstacles that you had and how you address those yeah i think um you know unless you get into a profession uh, a, a doctor or an accountant or a lawyer or a teacher perhaps some of these really important professions then it's highly likely that your career path in life will take many twists and turns you'll have maybe half a, do a dozen different careers in your life uh, lifetime. So I think you have to be open-minded, you have to be agile, you have to be willing to change and, 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 and learn new things throughout your, your life. So I think for any young person, that's a really important lesson to learn is that you need to be agile and adaptable to your environment, particularly if you're going to go into business because you always want to be at the front almost of any new opportunity. So you really need to be switched on and really active at looking at how you can take advantage of that. But there are challenges along the way. Um, there is no path that you will take that will be completely um, uh, you know, perfect. Um, you know, calm waters uh, never made for an experienced sailor. So you want to be able to really um, adapt to situations take on the challenges and most importantly learn from them and there will be failures um it's it's, it's important that everyone recognizes that you will try stuff that doesn't work but you shouldn't be afraid of failing failing is perhaps one of the greatest learning experiences that you can possibly have because you will understand more if you fail of what didn't work than someone mm -hmm. that succeeded um throughout so don't see failure as a, a bad thing. See it as a very positive thing. And you have to have that tenacity. You have to have that vision, that drive, and that passion, that resilience to be able to maybe tackle problems in slightly different ways, learn from them, and ultimately get to your end goal, which might be very different from where you started, mm -hmm. but that's part of the process. That's really interesting that you say that because I'm just thinking for a lot of people leaving school and you're talking about failure, uh, failure is probably not a great thing while you're in school. You kind of need to pass your exams. That's yeah, the focus. Yeah. So what you're sort of suggesting maybe is that, you know, now is time for a new way of thinking about things. And whereas previously failure was something to avoid, now it's something to, you know, to welcome and that will help to, you know, build your character and to enable you to deal with problems in the future yeah. better than you deal with problems today. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it's very important to point out that fail, failure from an academic sense is very different from failure from a practical life sense. So clearly in school, you have to attain a certain degree of qualifications to get to the next stage in, in life. So it's important that you work as hard as you can to learn the information that you need to, to be able to get the exams qualifications to, to go on. Um, so from an academic point of view, failure clearly has its, um, has its own sides. But when you shift out of the academic world into the practical world of running business um to to fail f-a-i-l i i say i've said this before i heard it somewhere else but f-a-i-l your first attempt in learning i like that it's really important that you take that opportunity to learn from something that didn't quite work out the way that it didn't don't do, make that same mistake over and over again mm -hmm. learn from it and develop so yes you're quite right academic failure that's one thing you know not really what we would want to encourage but commercial failure life failure those are all learning opportunities and as long as you're learning and moving forward we talk about failing fast and failing forward that it's really important that you that you have that mindset and not to be 
not to be uh, put down by it. It's part and parcel of the journey. Uh, and actually, some people really enjoy that. It's the roller coaster ride. Some bits are really high, and some bits, you know, you, you feel unwell. But the buzz that you get from the success that you eventually deliver, and the, um, the the achievements that you make along the way of that journey, so vital, so important, Richard. And you know, that's if I if I'd have asked to finish on a better note, I don't think I could have. So thank you very much for that inspirational right to the end. Um, and would you have any sort of final messages to anyone that's thinking of, you know, they're leaving school, they're about to start their business. What would you say to yourself all those years ago? What one piece of advice could you share? Oh my goodness, um, that's a, if I could travel back in time. Uh, and uh, I think it is more than anything else, it's encouragement. You know, mm -hmm. it's important that people um, believe in themselves. They believe in their capability to do things, to achieve things, to realize that the, the, the journey won't always be easy. It will come with some tough lessons, but to never give up, to persevere, to learn constantly, be open-minded and be agile. So it would be an encouraging message that I would give myself to say, you know, believe in yourself, uh, you can do it. And that's what I would say to anyone. If you're thinking of embarking on an entrepreneurial journey in life, Remember the basics. You need to have customers and you need to have a product or service that they want. But you need to have belief in yourself, drive and determination. Don't get down by the failings. Learn from them. Move forward. And remember the support network like Elevator and some of the many other organizations that are out there. We're here to help. So make sure you use that help and build forward with other people as well. Brilliant. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today, Andy. And um, that was fantastic. And I'm guessing for those that are thinking about leaving school, uh, hearing your message, hearing your words, particularly talking about encouragement and, you know, not fearing failure. Um, I think hopefully it will inspire them. And uh, we're looking forward to a whole new generation of entrepreneurs for Scotland because that's what we need. Absolutely. And uh, good luck to everyone. But thanks very much indeed, Richard. Thank you. Thanks, Bye Andy. Now. Delighted to have you with us today. Bye now. Thank you. So that was uh, Dr. Andy Campbell from Elevator. Uh, brilliant words of inspiration. Uh, and as Andy said, when he left school all those years ago, he had no idea where he'd end up today. Uh, obstacles along the way, things he had to overcome. Um, but, you know, as they say, look at him now. Uh, it's always great, I think, to have people that you can sort of use as an example. It's great to have role models and people to aspire to. And I hope that this will help some of you watching um, to realize that if you have a dream, um, you can make it happen. All you need to do is be brave. So uh, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you in the future and seeing your businesses grow. And, uh, you know, thank you again. Thanks to Richard and Andy for that really inspiring interview. At Young Enterprise Scotland, we have a couple of resources available that will help you take the first steps on your own entrepreneurial journey. Firstly, we believe that to help young people develop skills and understand what they're good at, they need to have a starting point. Our My Enterprise Profile Assessment Tool is this starting point. Give yourself 15 minutes to go through the questions on the link in the video description. After completion, you'll be sent through a thoroughly detailed report that illustrates six key areas of enterprise and which of these areas you excel in. Secondly, through our partners at Accenture, we are able to offer free online digital skills training courses in everything from social media and web analytics to retail and artificial intelligence. You can access these free courses through the link in the video description. Whatever you choose to go on and do next with your lives and careers, all of us at Young Enterprise Scotland want to wish you all the very best of luck. Don't forget, there is an entrepreneur in all of you.